Hello everybody, today we're going to simplify the radical expression. We're going to assume the variables x and y are non-negative. So we have the square root of 48x to the 4y to the 7. Now for an expression to come out completely, it has to be a perfect square. So for instance, square root of a square is equal to a. So if you have square root of x squared, that comes out, the square cancels the square root, and that comes out as x. If the power is even, then it's a per that the expression is a perfect square. So x to the fourth is a perfect square. Why? Because when you take the square root of x to the fourth, this is going to come out as x squared. Uh, you can see it like this. x to the fourth is x squared squared. This square cancels the square root, and what comes out is the x squared. An easier way of seeing this is um, dividing the power by 2 because we have a square root. The index is 2. So that would give us 6, the power divided by the index 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and this one comes out as 3. Now, for the radical, for the expression to come out in the square root, the power has to be even. So let's take a look here. Let's take a look at the numbers first. 48 is not a perfect uh, square. But if you notice that 48 is 16 times 3, and 16 is a perfect square. That's a square of 4. And x to the 4 is a perfect square. But we have an issue with y to the 7. y to the 7, a power 7, that's not a perfect square. Because the power is odd, you cannot, uh, it does not come out completely. What we can do, we can simplify it. We can write y to the 7 as y to the 6, the power is 1 less, times y. If you know the laws of exponent, the powers when you multiply with the same base, the powers would be added. So y to the 7 can be written as y to the 6 times y. Now, why would, did we do that? Because we know this will come out. So from what we have here, this is going to come out, this is going to come out, and this is going to come out. You can, if you want to, separate them. You can get them out. So square root of 16 times square root of x to the 4th. Separate them in different radicals times square root of y to the 6. And everything else would be in another radical, so 3y. These will not come out. So square root of 16 is 4. You know that 4 squared is 16. Times square root of x to the 4th. x to the 4th, we just did this here, is x squared. And square root of y to the 6 that would give me y cube. I use a different variable, but that would give me y cube. Now remember, the power divided by the index, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And this does not come out, square root of 3y. So we just simplify our radical expressions. I hope you found this video helpful. See you next video. Bye-bye.